So, as Mr. T would say, I pity the fool who thinks they can use the bankruptcy court to avoid paying child support and alimony. So when it comes to divorce and finances, some spouses might consider every avenue possible to avoid paying child support and alimony. And one question that occasionally surfaces is whether filing Chapter 7 bankruptcy can be a loophole to escape these financial obligations going forward, or even to wipe out arrearages that have piled up for unpaid child support and alimony. So let's cut to the chase and break down the reality of the situation. First and foremost, it's essential to understand what Chapter 7 bankruptcy is and what is not. Chapter 7 is a type of bankruptcy that allows individuals to wipe the slate clean and eliminate their debts when those debts completely overwhelm their assets or their ability to keep up with paying on the debts. You know what I'm talking about. Debts like that runaway mountain of credit card bills, that store debt on the $8,000 mattress that you bought and are still paying for six years later, and things like that. So it sounds tempting, right? But here's the kicker. Child support and alimony are not the types of debts that can easily be dismissed through bankruptcy. The US Bankruptcy Code makes it crystal clear certain debts are non-dischargeable, and that includes child support and alimony. That means that no matter how deep in debt somebody is, these financial responsibilities cannot be wiped out and eliminated by filing for Chapter 7 bankruptcy. The future payments cannot be eliminated, and the back money owed for unpaid child support and alimony also cannot be eliminated. The legal system is savvy to the fact that a lot of people would otherwise try and use bankruptcy as a get out of support and alimony free card, and it has put measures in place to prevent such attempts. Child support and alimony are considered domestic support obligations, that's a legal term, and the bankruptcy code takes them very seriously. When somebody files for chapter seven bankruptcy, the court designates a trustee to oversee the process. So the first thing that the trustee does is look to see what assets the debtor has that can then be sold to pay off existing debts. It's not quite the walk away that people tend to think it is. So for instance, if the debtor has a huge collection of valuable art, baseball cards, rental homes with equity in them, etc., those can be seized and sold by the trustee to pay off the debts that are owed prior to the debtor being given a clean slate. That makes sense, right? At the very top of the list of debts to be repaid with the assets that are sold off is, drum roll please, domestic support obligations such as child support and alimony. The repayment of these back owed debts takes precedence over all other debt payments. So child support and alimony get first dibs on the money raised from selling off the debtor's assets. And if there's not enough money to pay off all of the back owed child support and alimony, then no one else gets paid and the amount still owing on these debts will not be wiped out in the bankruptcy, even though the credit card debts and the mattress debt in the example I gave you very likely will be wiped out. So what about if the debtor tries to argue that their future child support and alimony payments should be wiped out? Nope, not gonna work. The bankruptcy court is not going to let that happen. So, as Mr. T would say, I pity the fool who thinks they can use the bankruptcy court to avoid paying child support and alimony. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Be sure to click subscribe, like, follow, and turn on the alerts so that you'll get notified when we post our newest videos. Please share these videos, leave us some comments, ask us questions, tell us what other topics you'd like for me to talk about, and join our Facebook group at Georgia Divorce and Custody for more info. And as always, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.